Welcome to your mystery craft bag sneak peek. My name is Sammy Cursell and I'm a community librarian here at Deschutes Public Library. With your mystery craft bag, you will be making some faux bug taxidermy and a creepy doll head planter. The supplies you'll be receiving for your plaque include a piece of wood, a couple of bugs, some glue and a paintbrush, as well as two different colors of paint, both black and gold. My tips for you when you're doing this are to make sure that you let the glue or the paint between coats on these bugs dry thoroughly or else it doesn't quite adhere to the plastic as well. Also, as you're gluing it, make sure that you lay it down first, see where it's actually touching the wood and glue those spots. You might have to use your paintbrush to do that gluing or uh, maybe you're just handy with a glue bottle. For your doll head planter, you're going to receive a doll head one of these reused they are not perfect so they might have ink or uh, some different things markings on them and they might be porcelain like this one or they might be plastic like some others and uh, you also receive dirt and a spider plant or curly spider plant start to go with that a couple of ideas when you're doing this and a couple of tips uh, tip Maybe throw a couple of small pebbles down at the bottom so that your rot your roots don't rot and sit in that, that water while it's there. Uh, some of the doll heads have holes in their mouths, so you might need to put that on a tray or a teacup saucer. And then also get creative as you're designing these. You know, maybe you don't want to take it too spooky and you just plant your plant, or else maybe you want to take it really spooky. Um, mine's not too bad. I just kind of glued this one eye closed a little bit and I painted some uh, glue over the top of the eye so that it turned a little bit milky, which I might add a little bit more glue to that to make it really milky. Other ideas could be painting or using a Sharpie on the eyes to turn them black. Maybe you have some black tears coming out or some black paint coming out of the mouth or red paint or ink. Uh, maybe it has stitches. It's up to you, use your creativity to take it however spooky and mysterious you want. You'll also receive a little newspaper-esque handout uh, with some stories, some information, and instructions on how to complete these crafts. And my contact information if you have any questions as well. And please post pictures of your projects online. We would love to see them or email them to me. I would love to see them just myself. And I hope you have a wonderful spooky month.